I had a guy in Toronto. We were together for like the whole path of the pandemic, four months. And then I came back to LA and I was like, we were still kind of talking. He's like, I can't do this. And then never talk to me again. I'm like, okay. Not I met someone no, or- No, can't do this. Never talk to me again. I had another guy um, from Vancouver that reached out to me. He was like a fan. We had this weird three month thing. We were like FaceTiming every day. And he was like, I just want to make you my girlfriend. I just want to come visit you. And then like, I told him I was gonna come visit him. And then uh, he goes to me. And then funny enough, <laughs> funny enough, I got an email. I got an email <laughs> right after the Netflix came out. Oh, did isn't you? That, isn't that funny timing? Mm-hmm. What yeah. did that email say? It was an attempt at an apology. At no point did he say he was sorry. He said, I should never have tried to get in an intimate relationship with you. I'm disgusted with my behavior. I should never have ghosted you. No, I'm sorry. No, I can't believe what I put you through. Nothing I wanted to, like... Oh yeah, I, I, man, nothing. I've had women call me out on shit before, and I just have to. You got to eat it, and I just, I write back. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't contact you again. Yeah. <laughs> it's that easy. Like it's also, I, I guarantee it. you've never ghosted like that. I've never ghosted like that on. See, anybody. that's the problem. This is the issue. No, the issue I've is had the uncomfortable conversation every time, mm -hmm. and nine out of ten, if it was possible, it was it person to person it was not fucking technology that's even ballsy that's great us, you know if you're gonna here's the thing i don't, Listen, I don't if care you're if you're gonna like, let me do all the shit that we're gonna do sexually the least i can do is talk to you mm -hmm. in person and say this isn't working out yes and that's thank you men men are you listening to this if it's they let you see their butthole the least you could do <laughs> is talk to them face to face when you're saying goodbye, or butthole to face if you if you <laughs> or, if you're, or if you're <laughs> still into it, you know whatever. If you're an ass guy, it's like also you can't like I don't I'm not talking about the like the one or two week like Tinder thing you hook up you uh, don't who cares about that I've never even done that so I'm talking about what we're talking I'm about. talking about like an actual you're gonna fucking talk to this woman every day you're gonna send fucking all this I had another guy that I met in January that we had like a very we got close. I met him when I was in Grand Rapids and it was like, I was like super into him and it was like talking every day and like four months talking, 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 going to go visit him after the Bill Burr taping. And then I do not hear from him for a month. And I'm like, fuck this. So I fucking snapped and wrote this big thing being like, fuck you. You don't fucking deserve this. You don't deserve to fucking call me every day. Say you like me, all this bullshit. It fucks with me. I can't be, I of cannot course like, it does. anytime yeah. I talk to a guy now, I'm like, you can't ghost me. I, I will go off the rails. Like, I also say to guys, which is like so, I, I don't know how they came through their thick fucking heads. I get told no. I get told, I'm every day, a no. I don't want this. I don't want you. We don't, you didn't book the part. Every fucking day in my life, I get it. You saying you don't want to see me anymore is not going to affect me in the way you think it is. I'm not going to be, oh no, this guy who smokes a thousand cigarettes a day and fucking his dick doesn't get hard, doesn't want to see me anymore. I don't give a shit. Fuck you. Like, I don't give a fuck. I get more upset when they're like, no, the, the, you didn't get a call back for the Jet Apatow movie. I'm like, yeah, that I'm not going to be upset about. This, I'm not going to, like, it's so insane to not be bald. Like, just, just fucking, it's... It's very frustrating. So that's why I'm like, I'm scared now to even get in a relationship, to even like talk to anybody. I'm talking to somebody now and I can't even tell if he likes me. It's very strange. I'm like, I don't it's know It's a weird on. time. It is. You know, the the um, readiness and availability of penis and vagina is too much. It's too much. You know, the apps are too much. Back in the old days. <laughs> back the, in the old days. Um, you, pro you met someone local. You mm -hmm. maybe met them at a bar or mm -hmm. at the store or a friend of a friend. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? And and you held on to a relationship because there weren't 10,000 other opportunities on this fucking app that mm -hmm. I can just touch mm -hmm. with my finger. You know what yeah. I mean? So I feel like a lot of people devalue relationships these days because it's so easy to hop onto the next dick or put your yep. dick in the next hole. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's very um, true. So I think that uh, plays a part in it. And also, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's a generational thing. I don't know. But I hear from a lot of my girlfriends that guys do this. Won't and talk to them for three or four days. And it's like, this is your boyfriend? Yeah. Hadn't talked to you for a week? Won't come over tonight? Constantly canceling mm -hmm, plans? Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just, is I, that a, yeah. that's not a boyfriend. No, no. I don't trust anybody anymore. So the, this guy I'm talking to now, I'm like, I don't, I think we're just talking. He brought, actually, he brought a friend to my show the other night at the comedy store. And I was like, oh, what did you tell your friend? Like, who, who are you going to see? He said, a girl I'm talking to. I'm like, okay. So talking to me means he's still on the apps. He's still probably talking to other women. And I'm like, all right, I guess I'm also talking to other men and like doing whatever. So I'm like, I'm not in a relationship. If you're, I'm also haven't heard from him in day. So it's like, I like, what is this? I, I'm also just like, I'm over. Unless a man is like obsessed with me. Like, 
I don't mean obsessed, but like, I mean, I know what you, you mean. know what I mean? Like yes. calling me every day, checking in, like, unless you, someone's doing that, that's what I want right now. That's what I want. A guy that really, and I'm like, I'm not going to force. I have some friends who are like, you know, men and women who are like with people they don't really like, but it's like, ah, you know, they're nice enough. I'm like, I don't want that. I want someone that I'm like, I want to fuck you all the time. I want you to like be around me. I want you to meet my family. I want to call like, you while you're at work and say yes, hi, like, check in. Yes. How's your day going? Get home. I'm always like that. When you get home, call me when you're inside and say, like, if that's, I want to know that's you're it. safe. That's it. It's a nice, it's a nice normal thing you to care do. about some. Well, yeah. it's also, it's, also, it's not yeah. hard to care about somebody you care about. Yeah. And then I'm like, so. I'm, and then and when you yes. don't feel that, you're like, oh, you just don't care about me. That's exactly You know what it. I mean? That's it. It's yeah. not hard to care about no, someone that's, you care yeah. about or love someone you love. Yeah. So when you f don't feel it, you're feeling exactly, your feeling is accurate. Yes. Yeah, so this I, This person I, yeah. doesn't give a fuck. That's for, so right now, I'm like, this right. person doesn't give a fuck. I'm like, so I have to have a chat when they. I have to be like in a couple of days, be like, hey, I don't. This is, this is not working for me. This is not what I want. Like, I do want. Do you have to do that though? I guess Fuck not. It. Yeah, I guess Fuck I don't need move to move on. Yeah, because I'm like, this is. It's like it's already yeah. what you don't want. You don't owe that guy that's not telling you any no. being behaving the way you don't want that you no, don't want. No, it. I don't, he knows. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I mean, it's an interesting description these days. It's a girl I'm talking to, huh? Is that, I'm like, but I'm like, I also haven't been in a relationship in so long. I'm like, is that what people say? I don't know anymore. I'm so confused. I'm also just like I, I don't know it's, if it's, it's exhausting. about. We don't need to know all that. It's uh, you got to just connect with that person that the same mm -hmm. shit jives for you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like you're like that. I'm like that. Yeah. You also don't want someone that wants to call you all the time, check in on you, but that other person's like, oh, you're suffocating. You know yeah, that no, might be no, that. No, no, yeah, somebody. yeah. I don't. Yeah, exactly. I don't want that. That's, I'm like, oh, I get it. I get. No, it. I don't need yeah. you up my ass from the corner. I like a nice, I like a daily check in. I like a good morning. I like a good night. Mm -hmm. If you have, or, and I like to know. I'm a planner. I like a plan. Give me a plan. Let me know what's going on. I like to, I like to know what's, I like it. There's not like the other days, oh, maybe I'm going to come to the bar. I'll maybe meet you later. I'm like, it's maybes. I don't do maybes. You're coming or not. Otherwise, I'm going to fuck somebody else. Like, mama's horny. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> waiting around. Maybe I'll maybe find somebody else.